Ceviche, 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 fly, fly, fly. Uh, we're gonna make ceviche, don't be afraid. It's not sushi, it's cooked in acid. It's essentially cooked in lime juice. And uh, it's very bright and light and living and lovely sort of pick-me-up at the beginning of a meal. So it's a lovely appetizer. Do not be afraid of the ceviche. There's a couple of rules about ceviche. Number one, you don't want to use greasy fish. You don't want to use bluefish, mackerel, anything that has a lot of oil, oily fish. Also, freshwater fish doesn't really work that well. Perfect fishes are. I love sea bass from Corje, the greatest fish market in the world in West Hampton. But really, any North Atlantic sea bass, if you live in the North Atlantic, snapper, but you have to be careful because it's not sustainable. A lot of it's endangered. Um, anything that's sort of firm and white and, you know, is, I would say halibut is even a little bit too fatty. You want something lean and white. So we have here two gorgeous um, sea bass fillets. Uh, and the other important thing is you have to remove the bloodline. The bloodline is bitter, okay? Now, the fishmonger who I tipped removed the bloodline for me, but I'm going to continue to clean up these pieces prior to making the ceviche. You're gonna take out the fish, you're gonna look at it. You're gonna feel like this for bones. I don't feel any bones but I do see a bloodline right here. I'm gonna go like this. Okay. And the bloodline is here and I'm gonna cut it out. Cut it out. So now I have a beautiful piece of fish. I'm not crazy about the dark patch here, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna get a better knife. Okay, I'm gonna cut this because I don't like the look of it. That's the correct knife, by the way. This is too thin, so I'm gonna cut that. This is a little bit pink, and there appears to be a bloodline here. Now I have a very nice uniform piece. That piece is a little thin here. You're gonna lose some of the fish you bought, but this is delicate preparation. Okay, here we go to the second filet. I'm feeling for bones. I don't feel any bones, but I do see a bloodline right there. And I cut along the bloodline, and I have one fillet here. I feel it, feels okay to me. I'm gonna cut the, the stringy end. I don't like the look of that, so I'm gonna cut this off. So basically you're kind of just feeling for any bumps or looking for any dark red lines. The other golden rule is it must be cold uh, even before you prepare it. So I'm just gonna throw this back in the refrigerator on a little plate until we're ready to actually make ceviche. You, you, you wanna treat it nice. This is a very special appetizer. I'm just putting a cold cloth on it. I'm not gonna bother wrapping it. 10 minutes or 15 minutes before I wanna serve it counting prep time, I'm gonna prepare this and serve it to my guests. And you'll see how easy this is and how much your friends love it. It's beautiful. You've cut some shallots beautifully and finely. You're gonna use a little bit of jalapeno. So let's cut this jalapeno down the center. Remember, after you do this, don't go potty and wipe your hoo-hoo because you will seriously regret it. So I'm taking the seeds out of the um, jalapeno, which has been washed. I'm gonna do like little threads like that, little perfect threads. I'm only gonna do about four of these. Maybe I'll do five. So ceviche is very delicate and you want the, your ingredients in your prep to be sort of precious for this, okay? Because it's gonna, everything is gonna shine. So you wanna cut tiny little squares from your baton. This is an ugly piece, so we get rid of that, okay? You line these up and you cut little tiny squares. Now this is gonna be fairly spicy, but ceviche should be a little bit spicy. And it's also very important the color that you select because it's a very beautiful dish, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have some green, some pink, some white, very, you know, it's a lovely to look at thing. I served this on a salt block, this very fancy present that I received, which is a 
pink Himalayan salt tray, essentially. You can serve it on a simple white plate with tortilla chips, with toothpicks if you want, with um, anything that they can sort of scoop it up with, little spoons, whatever you'd like. All right, so we are now ready. We have everything we need to make the ceviche. They are here. It takes 10 minutes for this to cook in the lime juice. I'm going to get the fish out and I'm going to cut it for the ceviche now. They're here, they're talking to me. I go to the fridge, oh yes, I haven't seen uh, the new Wonder Woman movie. <laughs> Isn't it great that there's a superhero who's abroad? So what you wanna do is you want to make it attractive for eating little pieces of fish size. If I cut this like that, that's a nasty piece of fish. So what you wanna do is cut this down the center using your good knife. Cut this down the center, right? Line it up and cut these pieces on a bias like that. That's what they should look like, okay? Throw them in your bowl. Bias, bias, bias. Not too small, not too thick. See that? That's perfect. Bias cut. Bias cut. If it's too small, they're gonna turn into mush. See this size, like, like that. That's almost a teeny bit too big. Okay, going on to the next piece, taking a look at it, teeny bit thick. So I'm gonna cut it in half down here, but not up here, because it's thinner up here. So there we go. Take two pieces like this, and bias, bias, bias smells like nothing, which is exactly how it should smell. Now, I don't know the name of the chemical reaction, but the, the fish actually cooks, like for real cooks in the lime juice. It doesn't just appear cooked, it is cooked, physically cooked. It's cooked, it's cooked, I tell you. All right, there's your cut ceviche, gorgeous. Here we go, taking the jalapeno, sprinkling the jalapeno in like that, so already beautiful. I'm taking my finely cut shallots, and Lynn said we had too many boring videos of me cutting shallots, so we didn't show you. <laughs> There's a big piece, we're taking that out, take out anything ugly, like that. And then we have the famous Randy Sharp chefy thing, which are pink peppercorns. And I just put these in essentially for color, because they're delightful. Now, if you had a, if you had a pink chili, like a pink one of these, you wouldn't have to do this. I just do this because I think it looks so charming. Now here comes the all important chemical, the lime juice. How much do you put in? You're cooking it in it, okay? You're not gonna serve it swimming in lime juice, but you should cover it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of salt. I literally use an, a phone timer because I've discovered that anything over 10 minutes is an issue. It goes into the fridge, in the back of the fridge, where it can stay really, really cold. And you time it for 10 minutes exactly. It's ceviche time. It's ceviche time. How much time does the ceviche take? You can ask me. So, oh, I have to think of a rhyme. So here we go, 10 minutes. Okay, your timer went off. Everybody's having their champagne or their white wine or whatever you're serving. And you're just gonna go quickly to the fridge. Take out your ceviche. Should look something like that. I think it's a touch early, and I mean a touch, because I look at, at this and it's a tiny bit hard when I, when I press it. So I think it needs two more minutes. You're looking for sort of that. It's so hard to explain. It's like a, you're looking for cooked fish, but not overcooked fish, that's the problem. The first time I made it, I left it in for like an hour and 10 minutes because I was so terrified of serving raw fish. It's really 10 to 12 minutes, so here we go. Time that, time that, time that, time that. It's been 10 minutes or so, I'm taking the ceviche out. It's now ready. I have this very nice little tray here, and when I take this out, I'm gonna drain it a little bit, see, with my spoon. Oh, it's beautiful. I wanna get the green pink. I made this all summer, 
and uh, you had to make sure people were told when cocktails were because they would get very upset if they missed the ceviche. So I'm, co I'm covering it with little, the little bits of stuff like that, little bits of shallot and jalapeno and pink peppercorns. And then just for the sake of beauty, I'm gonna serve it with four little lime wedges. It's beautiful, random, remember, ne never too studied looking. Okay, that is a thing of beauty right there. Ceviche, baby. Oh yes. How much time does the ceviche take? The ceviche takes 10 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. How much time does ceviche take? There's really no rhyme for ceviche or minutes, so there you go.